So hey, good morning folks and uh, welcome to another Sunday video and uh, today's ride we're up in the lakes again so we're on our favourite road to enter the Lake District which is the Live Valley Road and uh, we're just heading up uh, our first stop of the day we'll be on the uh, side of Bowness on Windermere where we're going to have uh, a sandwich and uh, a coffee and uh, from there we're going to head up towards uh, Beatrix Potter's uh, house all around that region so uh, stick around, stay tuned and uh, be right back So on today's ride I wanted to uh, scrub my new tyres in so I, uh, I got some new tyres yesterday and uh, managed to find some down at Horrocks in Preston uh, great service if you ever need any uh, tyres or any, uh, any gear they've got a really good shop down there I was looking at uh, some Michelin Road 5s because I heard many good things about them but I couldn't find them for love for money and uh, Horrocks had some Pirelli Angel GT2 the latest ones in not the cheapest of tyre but uh, from all uh, accounts they're very good so uh, today's ride I'm scrubbing the, uh, the new tyres in and I thought what better road than the uh, Lyle Valley Road well, there was some uh, smelly diesel on that corner and uh, you probably noticed a few dark patches just uh, back there so anyway, missed them uh, I don't want to hit them on new tyres so yeah, uh, I was going to put a video up yesterday um, go for a ride once I got my tyres on and then uh, as soon as I uh, came out of the, the garage had the new tyres fitted it started to rain and uh, continued just drizzling and spitting with rain for the rest of the afternoon so I went home instead didn't fancy scrubbing in new tyres on, uh, on wet roads so thankfully it uh, cleared up and uh, as you can see blue skies and so far so good I can't really give a review on these tyres until I've uh, got about a thousand miles under, under the belt compared to the the Bridgestones BT not BT the Bridgestones T31s that I had on You've probably seen from my videos, I mainly run sport touring tyres on the MT-10 and the uh, main reason for that is I think tyre technology has got to such a state now where it's just as good, really sticky as uh, a few years back and um, yeah, I get more miles out of the, uh, the sport touring tyres on the T-31s have just come off, I got 6,500 miles off them yeah, it was only when uh, I got the tyres on that I noticed I just hit uh, about 17,000 miles on this bike nearly three years now so uh, not too bad you can always tell a good bike when you've got a lot of miles on it you must enjoy riding it so weather wise it's about 12 degrees it's actually quite cool even though it's blue skies and sunny you can certainly feel winter coming on at these temperatures we're nearly into September and we're just at the end of the, uh, the holiday period it is a bank holiday weekend so I expect quite a few people up in bonus um, but I'm just going to nip down to my favourite little place next to the water and uh, park up I managed to grab a sandwich and some crisps and a coffee or an iced coffee that is I'm going to have those for my breakfast right next to the lake still trying to social distance from cafes and things just trying to keep out of the way do my bit just passing the brown horse in there lovely little pub will shortly be in bonus so what I'll also do today is I'll give you a look at a uh, couple of parts that I've put onto the bike been wanting to do for a long while and uh, I just think it finishes the uh, the bike off nicely so stick around for those I'll uh, I'll be there in about five minutes and uh, we'll come back and show you those let me know your thoughts and your comments and uh, appreciate if you can give this uh, video a like or a dislike, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on whether you like it or not. And uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks again for all your support. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, uh, appreciate if you could subscribe and uh, ding that bell for future videos coming up. So we're just dropping into bonus now. 
best time of year actually to visit this place is around September. Uh, we're just heading down to the lake now. This is where you can tell how busy Bonus is. Yeah, it's pretty busy. And boats are coming in and out. Everything's running as normal now, but uh, I know it's early, so I'm not sure whether it's at its full capacity. But uh, like I say, it is a bank holiday weekend, so plenty of people. Uh, we're just going to do a right just here, down to the Glebe, it's called. This is where all your car parks are and things. So, lovely cafe on the right just here. Old pump house. And we're just going to come in here and down to my little favourite spot. Okay, so I've fitted a new belly band to the bike. Uh, this is from Pyramid Plastics. And uh, you can see here it's color keyed to the uh, the bike paintwork as well. Quite impressed with the build quality, just four brackets to fit it. I had to fit the, uh, the mesh in the front of it. I sprayed the mesh black as well. So I just think it finishes the bike off nicely. Also you can see here my new tires. These are Pirelli Angel GT2s, just about scrubbed in, need a bit on the sides. And then I've got my gas cap here, my TWM gas cap that I've fitted, which I think the black and blue just fits well with the paint scheme. You can see here my SP Connect uh, wireless charging mount, and also I've got the anti-vibration module on the back of it there. So that's me, happy with the bike, all finished. Don't think I'm going to do anything else to it now. And I'm just at the side of the lake here. What better place could you be on a Sunday? So that's us all fed and watered and we'll just uh, head around the one-way system on the Glebe. Plenty of boats around today, a lot of people boating, it's a little bit cold for boating to be honest. Still about 12 degrees. Lots of little uh, renter boats. But yeah, a lovely spot to come, um, but it does get manic in uh, summer. As many of you know, another week from now and it'll be empty here. That'll be it, holiday season over. So this is where you get all your tickets, your uh, boat trips. And uh, your boats can go up, uh, up and down the lake, so you can go from here to Ambleside. Or from here to Lakeside which is down the other southern tip of the lake. Plenty of other bikes out today. And this is Bonas Town Centre. Good chippy on the right hand side, Vinegar Jones. Cornish Bakery next to it, Costa Coffee opposite. Plenty of places, but I'll still clear just now. 
and then we're going to do a left just here there's actually an attraction just here the world of Beatrix Potter just on the right hand side just here after the Albert pub just there and also there's another great chippy just here on the left hand side Seafarers I think it's called there's a car park just here on the left so this road will take you through to uh, to the main route actually the A591 I think it is that goes across the top of Windermere and uh, this will bring you out actually at the mini roundabout which you can either go straight across and over Kirkston Pass and that will take you over Kirkston and down drop you down into uh, Allswater see that in a previous video and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to head left at the mini roundabout up here and then that will take us down to Ambleside <coughs> and then we're going to go to uh, Far Sorry where uh, Beatrix Potter's home is and here's just the, uh, the mini roundabout I spoke about straight over there, A592, Kirkston Pass, Allswater, Penrith and then we'll do a left just here now, as you can see, lots of cars. With it being a bank holiday, this is pretty much all the way to Ambleside. So we're going to have to do a bit of filtering if this cyclist would get out of the way. We might have a chance. So that's it, pretty much uh, summer holidays done, really. We've not been away this year due to all the Covid mess and uh, Kids are back at school next week, Wednesday I think it is. It'll be nice uh, nice to get them back to school as a parent. Six month lost of school because of this Covid situation. Yeah, how do I feel about, uh, about kids going back to school with all this in place? Um, to be honest, I'd rather them get back to school, get back into it, really. So I think we should start to get back on with life. Well, yes the Covid situation and all that kind of stuff is a problem we should definitely get on with things a little bit while we can not keen on riding down the middle of the road and uh, not because of the oncoming cars but uh, just all the shit and the nails and the screws and everything get thrown into the middle of the road and uh, with my new tyres the last thing I want to do is get a bloody nail inside them so uh, Try and keep away from that centre line if I can. You come up here next weekend, you won't get any of this traffic. Okay, so we just hit Ambleside. Not the town, but just where the pier is just here. All very nice. Very expensive ice cream vans though. Nice smell of ice cream out the side of that shop there. And then you got a very nice pub actually, down here with a beer garden right on the lake front. I do think they have some rooms as well if, uh, if you're up this way and need a place to stay. So the water edge in, in front of us. Really, really great place. And as you can see behind that tree there, there's a load of umbrellas, big, big, big beer garden right on the, the water's edge. And then you've got the Regent Hotel just opposite. And then this, uh, this road winds its way round the side of the lake. And then into uh, Ambleside Town. But we're going to turn left over the bridge just before we get there. Yeah, the traffic was quite bad coming from Bonus to Ambleside. Obviously, I say it's a bank holiday. It's a bit busier than normal, but it is uh, last week of summer. If you're on a bike, good thing is you can filter. So we got past it pretty quick. Just going to head left just here. And 
another little traffic jam as we go over the bridge. You know, maybe someone holding the road up. A Jeep Safari, probably. So we're just going to head left here on the A593. And it's sign Langdale, Hawkshead, Coniston. So I hope you like my new belly pan that I put on the uh, the bike. Uh, it was the last piece of the puzzle for me to uh, to add that, and uh, yeah, it was sent over the other day. I popped it on. Uh, now the only thing that doesn't uh, come fitted is the actual uh, mesh grills on the front. But the uh, yeah, they send you the mesh grill. You have to cut it to the shape, and then uh, basically you. Uh, you need to fix it somehow. How I did that, I went to Halfords and bought one of those hot glue guns and they uh, they pretty much uh, stick anything and uh, it sets like plastic. That's what I did. And that's how I fixed them in place so they won't move, budge. Uh, they come in silver and I sprayed them black, matte black. Once I'd sprayed them I added them into place. Hot glued them into place then and uh, fitted it back on so uh, yeah quite happy with that and uh, really happy with my quick release uh, fuel cap obviously they're not lockable but uh, to be honest I never leave my bike unattended I just like the uh, TWM fuel caps if anybody's watching this that has an MT10 big thanks to uh, Craig as in Craig Tech you can look them up on uh, Facebook and you'll find him and uh, he sells those TWM fuel caps and uh, really easy to fit five minutes of a job so yeah I think the bikes all uh, all finished now uh, although the bikes nearly coming up to three years old pretty much got it how I want it now there's nothing else that I want to do to it at all if you may know that this is a keeper for me it's not one I will sell I'll just keep this now forever so actually doing 17,000 miles on it uh, doesn't really bother me in three years because I will run this bike for many many years so we've got Langdale's turn on the right just there I'll take you over Hard Knot and Rhinos Pass or you can go uh, straight on just here and this will take you to uh, Near and Far Sorry I think it is and then Coniston so we should be on the east side of the lake by the time we get there and uh, yeah, I want to pull up and get a picture actually in front of Beatrix Potter's house. Uh, it's probably going to be mobbed with tourists as I think uh, you can still visit it and have a look around. But uh, let's wait and see when we get there. So I'm recording the, uh, the ride on Scenic just here. So uh, what I'll do at the end of the video and when I've edited it, I'll put the uh, scenic link for this ride in the description below. And uh, if you wanted to do it, follow the route, you can do, just by clicking on it. And uh, somebody told me if you click on the scenic um, link that I sent through, if you use Kalimoto, it will actually go on and open it up in Kalimoto. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, or you can just download the Scenic app, um, which by the way is only available currently on uh, iOS. It's not available on Android, but I believe they are going to release an Android version shortly. So, I've used Kalimoto, and uh, I don't use these, by the way, as a uh, sat-nav at all. I just use them to record the route and uh, give me a, a link, a file that I can pop in my descriptions below and um, basically anyone that wants that route can then get it um, so I don't use them whatsoever as a sat nav um, the app I use as a sat nav is called Copilot and uh, that you've probably seen in previous videos of mine I did do a review of Copilot um, and a look at it in a previous video in the back catalogue so uh, you can check that out if you want um, but the scenic app is just really for you guys. Uh, it's not for me. It's just to put a link on there and it's always saved public in the uh, scenic app so you can always uh, locate it and use that route. 
So I'm not sure how many miles I've done on these tyres now. Um, probably up to about 60 to 80 miles. So uh, normally they recommend about 100 miles to uh, bed your tyres in. Um, I just need to get lent over a little bit more to the edges. Um, but I don't like going uh, too fast when I'm recording video because uh, obviously you get too much wind noise then and uh, disrupts the quality. And also why would you want to go crazy and when you've got scenery like this up in the lakes. Beautiful place. Bit of loose chippings and things on the road here. Keep away from that. So I've not been up this road for absolutely ages. i uh, got a nice little lake beside of me here. Only a small one. What a cracking road. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful place. So we're just coming into Coniston, but I should have turned left just back there, so uh, just need to do a U-turn. Or I can actually turn left just down here, I think. Follow the same route and road. Anyway, nice to see Coniston Town Centre. With its cafes and pubs. Busy with walkers today. And we're just going to turn left here. And then this will take us down the uh, the east side of the lake. And what we'll do, we'll just pull up next to the lake, just up here, and uh, I'll have a sip of that iced coffee again, I think, before we head off down the, uh, the east side. Lots of uh, tents on the right just here, making the most of it. And then you can see just here on the... Uh, the right hand side of me, the lake opens up. This is the uh, the very north tip, just here. And then we're just going to head right, just here. But it does says road closed, so typical, isn't it? Anyway, we'll go down here and pull up and have a uh, five minute break. Just at the top of the lake, just here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the belly pan once more and also the mesh. I used a hot glue gun to uh, stick the mesh in place and also I've sprayed the mesh black. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Okay, so uh, checking my map, I'm looking for Sorry, but it's actually the other side of Hawkshead Lake, not Coniston Lake, so... Dumbo me has cocked up. Anyway, so I'm just going to head over towards uh, the next lake over towards the east, which is uh, next to Hawkshead, and it's uh, s -weight Water, and then uh, on the other side of that is uh, Sorry which is actually on the other side of Lake Windermere, so... Anyway, good old ride out, and uh, it's nice to explore around the place. And uh, basically this road, out to the top of Coniston here, is, uh, is a corker, really, and it takes you over towards Tarnhouse and then towards Hawkshead, so... That's the way I want to be going. So we're just dropping over the uh, the top of the mountain there, dropping down into Hawkshead, and uh, I don't know why, but the, uh, the sign saying the road closed, but there's cars coming up uh, from the other side. Just here, you see another car, and uh, I don't see any any closures whatsoever. 
so they're, they're trying to route people over Tarn Howes in that way but uh, it's definitely not road closed down here unless someone's messed with the signs so we're just at the, uh, the bottom of the road just here so I don't know what all that was about how crazy Yeah, so from Ambleside, what I should have done is come down towards Hawkshead on uh, just as you come out of Ambleside over that bridge. There's about, uh, I think, probably about two miles up the road. There's a turning left towards Ambleside, but uh, not to worry. Uh, it was nice to uh, have a tootle through Coniston and uh, just have a refreshment break next to the uh, the north tip of the lake just there. So uh, yeah, so we're in. Hawkshead now. Nice uh, nice village to the right just here that you can go into. There's a square, there's some pubs and things. And uh, we're just going to head uh, just around this little road just here to the right. And there's a campsite on the left. Quite a nice little campsite. Close to the village walking distance. So if you are motorcycle camping then uh, you can do it. The Croft just here on the left and uh, it's normally pretty full up with uh, tents and things but there's uh, nothing on there at the moment unless it's closed strange so yeah so just at the road end here we can uh, turn left two and a quarter miles to Sorry and uh, from Sorry you can actually go to the uh, the west side of Windermere and get the ferry across and that will take you just south of Bonus. What we're going to do, we're going to head down the, uh, the east of, uh, of the lake which is uh, just down here. So a few clouds appearing now, a few black ones. did say it was going to be uh, fine and no rain today. So it's been a, uh, an epic run out so far but uh, yeah just looking forward to uh, getting down to Sorry and uh, yeah we can show you Beatrix Potter's house um, so the lake on the right hand side I used to go fishing it's a really really good trout lake and uh, you can actually hire rowing boats you can probably see a couple of guys in a rowing boat there fly fishing really good fly fishing lake from a boat and uh, it's well stocked with trout and you get some uh, nice trout in there also if you're fishing from land uh, you can get some uh, big pike and things in that lake so that's s weight water and we're just going down the east side of it now so we're just coming into uh, near Sori just here so like with everything else in the lake district tickets only to get even in front of Beatrix Potter's house nice to be up this part of the world and uh, we're just going to do a left here down to Lakeside so this road will take us out and uh, bring us at the bottom of S weight water brings back many many memories of uh, fishing with my my late dad, bless him, sitting on the side of this uh, this lake for hours and end, trying to catch some fish. He was a coarse fisherman, and uh, of course I like to uh, fly fish, and I used to catch pretty much uh, a lot more fish than he did. <laughs> Lovely part of the world. Okay, so we're back on the main road, and uh, this road will bring you out uh, at Lakeside, where the, uh, the steamers, the ferries go up Lake Windermere. So you can actually park in the car park at Lakeside, and then you can get the ferry all the way up to Bowness and Ambleside. It's a good way of uh, seeing Lake Windermere, actually, rather than uh, on the road. And also it's uh, less traffic to get uh, just past Newby Bridge there. Um, also at the bottom of the road where it brings you out at Newbury Bridge you've got the, uh, the Swan Hotel at Newbury Bridge there right next to the bottom where it turns into a river and that's a really nice place to get some uh, food and refreshments so we'll, uh, we'll show you that shortly 
think my tyres are truly uh, bedded in now, which is good. Hate new tyres, especially for the first hundred mile. Have no confidence in them whatsoever, but uh, let's see how these Pirelli Angel GT2s turn out. Okay, we're just dropping down into uh, Lakeside. There's not much here really. Lakeside Hotel on the left and Spa. Nice place, front on to Lake Windermere. I'll just show you that now. And also where the uh, the ferry terminal is and uh, the steamers run from. Just here. So there's the hotel on the left. And then you've got the Lakes Aquarium just here. And where you get your tickets to get on the boat as well. And you've got the teal just leaving the dock just here. We're actually coming in. So I don't know if you can see steam just in front of me. You've got the uh, steam railway as well that comes up from Haverthwaite. So you can get the railway, the steam train all the way to here and then get the ferry up to uh, Bonus or Ambleside. Nice place. And uh, nice hotel there. Nice to have a, a seat out on the front by the lake. Grab afternoon tea and things. So we've got a couple of miles down the road here now before we get to Newby Bridge and the Swan Hotel and then the Swan just here on the left All looks closed to be honest Normally a popular spot with weddings and things and it's lovely just to sit here on the left great place to uh, end the video and uh, today's ride absolutely epic stunning beautiful scenery and uh, what a nice place to just finish it up all peaceful and quiet okay so that's the end of our ride today uh, it's been an absolute epic ride and uh, as you can see from uh, here we've finished up at the uh, Swan Hotel at Newbury Bridge Absolutely beautiful spot. And the sun's come out again, which is beautiful. So, hope you like the uh, ride today. Uh, really nice route. And uh, obviously best to do it when it's not as busy in uh, the Lake District as it was today. But uh, September's coming. Thanks to all my subscribers for uh, subscribing to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, then uh, please uh, subscribe and hit that like button. And uh, ding that bell if you uh, want notifications of videos coming up. But uh, yeah, thanks again guys. And uh, have a good week at work. Enjoy the bank holiday Monday tomorrow. And uh, I'll catch you on another one.